One of the new systems being shown this year at AUSA for the first time is this Hawkeye 105mm mobile artillery system. This has been shown before installed on a uh, Sherpa 4x4 chassis, but this time they've taken it further and it's now installed on an AM General 4x4 chassis which is used in large numbers all over the world. And what on the back of the platform is mounted a 105 howitzer which is a fire out of battery system and the recoil system allows it to be installed on very lightweight platforms such as this. As you can see, looking at the front, it's got some stabilizers and they are lower to the ground at the front and the back to provide a more stable fire platform. It is also fitted with a, a computerized fire control system which enables it to be laid onto the target very rapidly. It has got a muzzle velocity radar and also it has a direct fire sighting system. When it was shown some years ago, it was fitted with a US 105mm weapon, but this time it's fitted with a new, the more recent 105 M20 tube. This can fire a number of rounds of ammunition, include the standard old M1 high explosive round, the M314 illuminating round, the M60 series smoke round, um, a more recent M760 high explosive round and the M913 rocket assisted projectile which gives you some increase in range. Um, maximum range depends on the on the um, obviously on the projectile and charge system but firing a rocket assisted projectile a range of about 19.5 clicks can be received and um, firing a standard round, a range of about 11.6. This particular chassis is the AM General Hummer and it's the M1152A1 which has got a fully protected cab. As you can see, sitting on the left side at the back is an optical sighting system but it would normally be laid on the target using a hand controller. Um, development of this is said to be complete and it is aimed primarily at the export market for use by rapid deployment forces and it enables the system to come into action very rapidly, fire a few rounds of ammunition and then deploy to a new position before counter battery fire arrives. So it really is what I call a shoot and scoot system and it's really optimised for use with early entry or rapid deployment forces. The first systems are, are actually 105s but they have looked at studies to have that fire out of battery concept really migrate to a larger calibre 155 mm system. So this is one of the systems being shown for the first time at AUSA this year and is already attracted a lot of interest.